So Hepco Motion is worldwide known for its V-System technology, and here's why. There are three fundamental benefits of that technology. The first one is increased productivity. The second one is cost saving uh, over a longer period. And the third one is time saving. If I start with this simple GV3 slide, let's run through three of the basics. Basic number one, uh, this, the, the, the V edges, the, the, the raceways of the rail are actually induction hardened, uh, 58 to 62 Rockwell, which will give you not only good, uh, a long good life to the system, but also uh, very robust. And of course, with these rails, we can make um, whatever system length is required because they're very easily matchable and but buttable with the system compliance that comes with a V system. On top of that, of course, we have the V bearing. The balls and the, uh, are encapsulated for life inside of the bearing as is the, the lubrication. So these systems will not catastrophically fail. Even if the outside of the rails are not lubricated, the insides are. This is where the real action is, and so these will not catastrophically fail. And last but not least, of course, is the difference in the between the outside diameter of the V and the inside diameter of the V that over, uh, as it's re revolving, um, gives you the differential in speed between the top and the bottom and gives you the cleaning, the wiping action that is fundamentally important to, to the V system and why it's used in, in very often less than perfect environments. Over to Alec with the science. Yeah, thanks, David. And uh, you know, you mentioned about the fact that uh, you know, the, one of the key benefits of the V guide system is the increase to productivity. That's all tied in with speed. You know, the faster you can run your V-Guide system, the, uh, the more product you're going to get through your machine. You know, why, why does a V-Guide system uh, run that much faster than, than, than other sort of technologies? And, and part of that is down to the, the design of the bearing itself. It's perfectly circular. The balls are contained within that race, as David said, between the inner and outer race. So when they're spinning, it's a uniform acceleration. Conversely, if you look at recirculating ball technology, the, the balls within the, this block, they travel up through the block as it moves along the, the rail. And, and then when it gets to the end, it has to do a very sharp about turn to go down the return track. So it's very much like driving your car very fast, pulling up the handbrake and then going back the opposite way. Okay, with this circular design, it's very much like driving your car around a nice smooth roundabout. So we can run these much faster. How much faster? Well, your ball guide, a recirculating ball guide, probably about four to five meters per second. A V guide system, we've done systems up to 10 meters per second. So very, very fast. Um, we can also make them very long. As David said, the lubrication requirements are very small. Again, because everything is inside this, this bearing. It's sealed for life. The grease is in there. The balls are happy for the rest of their life. Whereas if we look at the recirculating technology, this block, contains the grease to not only re um, lubricate those balls as they travel, but also distribute along the length of the track. Okay, so all that grease has to keep those balls happy and um, distribute along the full length. So uh, when that runs out, you're in trouble. Um, uh, and you know, some nasty things can happen, can't they, David? <laughs> well, to be clear, the implications of a failure of this type are severe. The balls can come out if you're in an environment with packaging, food, it can be serious stuff. Uh, but, but to be clear, what, if this fails, is it just a case of replacing the block, Alec? Uh, no, if that fails, you're, you're looking at generally damage and wear to the rail, so it's, it's throw away. Um, the benefit of the V-Guide system, you do actually have some eccentric adjustability which will allow you to reset that uh, back to, to sort of factory settings and off you go again. And that reverberates back to the cost saving that we talked about. So here we are. This is the bit I've been looking forward to. We're going to put our money where our mouth is and, and really prove the strengths of our GV3 system, V technology, when it comes to harsh environments. We're going to throw some muck and filth at it and see what happens. To be clear, we've spent 50 years excelling in industries with hostile environments, whether that's medical, food, packaging, dirty, wet, a whole host of different environments we've done well in, where quite frankly, other types of slide systems do less well. Okay, Alec, let's start as we mean to go on. Uh, why don't you start being horrible to this V-slide? Yeah, well, we, we're going to take it easy to start with. and, and... 
you know, I mean, it can get much worse than this, but, but Weetabix, you know, uh, I'm sure many of you are parents and, and you know, you've had that, that dreaded bowl of Weetabix that's been left on the side at home and it, and it congeals into the, the hardest substance known to man. Um, so let's, let, first of all, we'll, we'll put a bit of dry Weetabix on the slide and, and David, if you, you just... It's a beautiful there thing. There we go. It's still... The, the, now you're giving that plenty there, We're just and that's uh, pouring dealing on. with it. That's absolutely dealing with it. So there, GB3 slide versus Weetabix, no problem. Dry Weetabix. Give it a go, Alec. Okay, so we'll, we'll try a bit of sand now. Um, bear in mind, this, this, this is a fairly cruel test, um, because in, in real circumstances, it wouldn't be treated in this sort of manner. Um, let's, the, let, let's replicate the um, uh, timber industry. Bit of wood chipping throwing on there. And these are rather large lumps, so find the sawdust, no problem. Even the snagging points are where there's just more resistance than I'm used to with my motion. So yeah, if it was a driven system, if it was a driven system, it would continue. Okay, so right, we we we're taking it to the ultimate test now. We we tried start off with dry Weetabix. Um, now we we've got a nice slurry um, for your benefit. Um, this is Weetabix mixed with milk. It's the worst substance known to man. Let's pour it on the slide and see how it goes. Wait for it. Here we go. It's on there. V slide versus Weetabix. V slide wins, Alec. And look at that. It's, it's going through it like it's nothing. How can we make this worse? Okay, so uh, Weetabix done dusted, no problem at all. Let's, um, let's uh, sweeten it up a little bit with some, some nice sticky treacle. And as you can see, that's going, <laughs> and it's going all up David's sleeve as well, but the GB3 slide is just laughing it off. <laughs> 